There's a particularly popular toy among small children, which have to have soft toys, which transform. They turn into something else when you turn them inside out or turn them over or whatever it is. And some of them are really very well made indeed. I've got a nice collection here to show you, which has got, um, let's see, we've got a monkey here who's sort of um, got a bright striped thing. He came from a different company because the other ones are really all from the same company. But we've got a pink pig and we've got an orange duck with very, very nice yellow web feet. And Ferdinand the frog. And the last one is um, the tilde the cow. <laughs> so each of those turns into something else. Well, let's see what happens. The first one is the easiest because it's a different company and it's just called a flip-flop. You just go like that and you hold it up and you go flip-flop, flip-flop, flip-flop. And this one starts with a monkey. Here we are, there's a monkey's face there. And when you turn it over and flip it, you see a little bear appears. Look at that. With little paws, etc. Very sweet. And then when you want to flip it back into a monkey, you just flip it over. Very easy, but a nice one. The next one we'll do is the pink pig. Big, large grunt. It doesn't grunt, but never mind. It's got nice curly ears as well. These ones work by having a piece of Velcro at the back, which you have to unzip like that. And when you unzip it, you find something else inside which starts to emerge. Something else which is, oh, looks brown to me. Anyway, let's start doing it and see what happens. Oh, yes, look at that. Different animal altogether. No longer pink, but something else. There's the head. Let's get the head through. Goodness, 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 goodness. And then at the end, what you have to do is to make sure it's nicely covered over at the back by pushing the Velcro back. Put it over there like that. And there we are there. Velcro is nice and tight at the back and the front. Oh, it's a real big teddy bear. How lovely. Look at that. He sits on the, it looks gorgeous. It's ready to play. So a nice one. So that's one of them. Then we've got a cow, the children of the cow. And again, it's got Velcro at the back. So I undo the Velcro and we'll start getting the other animal to emerge. Legs first, don't you think? Legs first. Oh, some more brown going on here. Brown and white. Keep going. Flip flop, flip flop. No. Final bit of stuffing. And we've finally found we are facing, oh, Teddy Bear's brother. Or perhaps it's the second of three bears and Goldilocks. I don't know. I'll just get the Velcro at the back properly set up so that it sits nicely at the back. There we are. It's nicely sealed. Yep, we definitely got another teddy bear, brother or first cousin or sister of the, of the one you've just seen. So let's put him over here. Now we've got a green frog, which croaks further than the frog. They'll croak the back and we'll see what happens when we open it up. Oh, something a bit lighter here. Yeah. More orangey actually. It's got legs though, actually. Oh, don't know what it is. Goodness me. What do you think? So when you come to the head, that's where you really see what you're looking at. And I'm thinking I'm going to be looking at, well, I won't show it just yet because I want to get the back done, which means I've got to push it down like that and get it nicely, oh, the other way around, Velcro, isn't it? There we are, nice to see, oh, it's come apart again, let's try again. That goes down there, that pushes on. Well, I don't know how I can do that. Oh my goodness. It's another teddy bear, and with a bright yellow bow tie as well. Goodness me. More teddies and more teddies. That's three bears, four bears so far. I think you have to rewrite the fairy tale of Goldilocks, don't you? So what's this one? It's um, a nice orange duck, and he's got to, oh goodness me. I'm beginning to think this is deja vu <laughs> coming through here, look. Ah, yes, it's got to be a bit more Velcro at the back. Well, he's almost there. It's yet another teddy bear. In some way, I'm not too surprised because I have to say I've got about 40 teddy bears in my collection. And there's, what, five of them here, which I'll show in the, in the circle. Because it's a very, very popular item. But every one of those has started off as something completely different. It's almost impossible to recognize what they would be when you turn them around. Extraordinary. This one, I've got to turn around to make sure he's facing you the front of you. 
So five teddy bears, which started off with a monkey and a cow and a frog and a duck and something else. So what a wonderful transformation. I've got a lovely big table of teddies. Huh.